for May 12, 2021. Sixth and seventh graders, it's almost time to sign up for your classes next year. You will do this in the student portal. Look for directions to come home soon. If you have any questions, make sure to ask your teachers about the electives. Did you take the ELA I ready? If not, you will have to make up day on Wednesday. Every past year student needs to do this. This week is Student Mental Health Virtual Spirit Week. Wednesday is write out Wednesday. Write in a journal, write poetry, write a letter, or write down your feelings and thoughts. Thursday is Thankful Thursday. Make a list of things you're thankful for. Friday is Free to Be Me Friday. Make a list of things you love about yourself. Now to Ms. Marissa, our librarian, for today's Book of the Week. Hey, Pasture Tigers. I'm Ms. Marissa, your Pasture Librarian, and this is Book of the Week. May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. This includes countries like Japan, China, India, Pakistan, Laos, Armenia, Turkey, and many others, as well as about 20 to 30,000 islands in the Pacific Ocean, such as Fiji, New Zealand, the Hawaiian Islands, Easter Island, and a whole lot more. So in honor of Asian Pacific American Month, the book I'll be presenting today is A Place to Belong by Cynthia Carajota. This book is available here at the library and at the Sacramento Public Library. After Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor, Hawaii in December 1941, President Roosevelt ordered all people in the U.S. of Japanese descent to be rounded up and confined in internment camps. This meant that more than 100,000 people were held against their will for years. This story centers around 12-year-old Hanako and her Japanese-American family after the end of World War II when they, among other Japanese Americans, are released from an internment camp. Now that Hanako's parents' successful family restaurant is no more and the family is left poor, they decide to join the many who renounce their U.S. citizenship and accept deportation to Japan. After hard weeks of traveling across the ocean, Hanako and her family arrive in Hiroshima, Japan, but are unprepared for the destruction left behind from the atomic bomb that was dropped there. The family heads to their grandparents' farm, where they must learn to adjust to the hardships of their new life. Being born and raised in the U.S., Hanako and her brother Akira have an even harder time adjusting to the poor conditions of their new world. Despite all the terrible misfortunes Hanako and her family face, throughout the book, family and hope are what keep them going. Many times when you learn about historical events, it feels like just another fact or a far-off event. But by showing the aftermath of war, even if it's from the point of view of a fictional character, we are able to put ourselves in their shoes and learn something of perseverance and hope. Friday, May 14th will be the last day of the year to check out library books. All textbooks and library books will be collected May 17th through the 21st through your history class. So if there is anything you would like to read before the year is over, make sure to stop by the library before Friday, May 14th during school hours or during the lunch break. Check your student email for any overdue notices. Sign in to the Pasture Library catalog for a complete list of what you need to return before the end of the year. Email me if you have any questions. See you around Don't campus. Don't forget to wear your mask whenever you are on campus. It must cover your mouth and nose and be worn at all times. Also, be sure to maintain social distance for at least three feet. Fourth grader grades are out now. Make sure to check your portal to see them. We just have four weeks left to improve your grades. The Pride Club will meet on Wednesday at 1.30. Check the school website for a Zoom meeting link. Not to Aaliyah with this week's birthday. Happy birthday this week to David Z, Nicholas B, Jocelyn D, Lillian G, Macy S, Angelica C, Razia I, Ethan M, Asher R, Ethan E, Peyton K, Raul M, and Emily T. Thanks, Thanks past year and remember your pause. Grr.